Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to my channel. That channel is Dev Chanel's 40s World and I am Dev Chanel in case you've forgotten. Okay, we're going to get quick fast in a hurry because I've taped several times um, today and I'm kind of tired. But we're going to get a story from Celebrity Insider on Nene Leaks and why she feels that she needs to tell it straight with no chaser on all this sister, this um situations that are going on in social media uh talking on her and she's pretty much felt that they haven't got it right so she had to come out on her youtube channel as well as celebrity insider got it from her youtube channel brought it on their platform wrote up an article on it and put it out there for the masses to review now ron collins the correspondent or journalist over there that works for celebrity insider Put a little spin on his article and he titled it nini leaks shares a youtube video to set some things straight okay and that was published on the 17th of this month let's go on and get into the story uh it is said or displayed in his article nini leaks was bashed a lot these days after people saw that she tried to spit on kenya moore i'm one of them I did a video on it. Y'all should get my perspectives on it by viewing it. Okay, like, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, Even any Leaks' fans criticized her and told her that such behavior is unacceptable. And I was right there with her. Because Nene don't have feuds with all of the cast members on the show, pretty much. She definitely has gotten into it with Candy Burrs, you know, on the previous way back when seasons um i want to say season maybe three four five um she definitely has gotten into it with wendy williams they recently made up in 2019 and it seems like their relationship has flourished you know she had her banter back and forth with phaedra pauls then they became friends before phaedra had to dismiss herself or got herself dismissed from the platform of real housewives of atlanta you know, she done been into it with Portia. She done been into it with Eva. She definitely been uh, into it with Star Jones when she was on Celebrity Apprentice. As well as, um, no, that wasn't Biblical Fox. <clears throat> but it was um, the many faces of Nene and how she gets down. Okay, that first picture is from her early on stage. It's probably when she was inducted into the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise in 2008. Okay, but let's get on back to the article. Um, it says Nene <clears throat> shared a video on her YouTube channel in order to set things straight. You can check, you can also check out the video below. She also talks about her movement of Ladies of Success. Okay, that's her other little pet peeve. We ain't really concerned about it. We're gonna keep moving on. Uh, someone commented, Love you, Nene. The only way you can handle Kenya is to say nothing to her and ignore her. Take a page out of Mark's playbook. Uh, it works great for him. She was damn near in tears when he ignored her. Now, that's true. That's true to form. He knows how to shut Kenya down, okay? Embarrass her in the same damn time. Okay, uh, then another commenter said, another YouTuber said, Kenya is playing you and trying hard to get you to hit or spit on her uh, wig so you can be fired. Don't take the bait from Snake Kenyatta. Ask Vivica Fox about how low she would go to ruin another black woman. Keep your cool. That's true. Kenya does hit below the belt. She hits on them ankles if she can get a chance to. Okay. Basically, Kenya is trying to solidify herself as a top dog on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she's trying to move Nene Leakes out of the seat as she self-proclaimed herself as the HBIC. Nene ain't feeling it. She ain't hearing it. And she's going to battle Kenya into her last breath. Okay. Until Bravo said, we do not need you anymore. You are dismissed. Okay. Um, and... She's definitely had her off and on times with me. I took her card. I'm planning on giving her the card back of HBIC because she hadn't been really acting like a true OG. We don't let people get on our nerves. We may get on people's nerves, but we don't let people get on our nerves. Or if they do get on our nerves, we definitely don't share it on our facial expressions, okay? Or in our body demeanor. We just don't do that, okay? We never let her see a sweat. 
We never let people or our haters see us sweat, okay? We always cool, calm, and collected like a nice cucumber that you want to bite into, okay? How oh, they say take a bite out of crime. Yes, Nene should be taking a bite out of Kenya's behind every time she gets a chance and don't run from it, okay? But maybe her spiritual person is working with her on that because she says she's on a spiritual journey. All right. But anyway, we go back to the article. It says, one other person told Nene the following. Nene, you should have never made a big deal of Kenya being at the party last season. The producers saw how much she affects you, so that's probably why they asked her to come back. We were good without her. Okay, they wanted to shake you up, so they brought her back for that very reason. One of Nene's fans said, I'm proud to see you grinding and hear the success stories of all the Ladies of Success group. I love that you are creating jobs throughout your companies. Awesome to always pull each other up and you're doing it. The same YouTube continued and told Nene, remember, God has already manifested Isaiah 54, uh, 17. The weapons have formed against yourself, your marriage, children, and Greg's hell, but it did not prosper. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. People forget the other part of the verse that speaks of every tongue that rises against you, you will condemn. I also remember a curse spoken of a, a curse spoken unworthy against you god basically tells us it falls dead blessings and always prayer for you great the family and safe traveling daily much love queen on youtube nene fans seem more understanding compared to what people had to tell her on her ig account earlier today so my thing is to you all my family over here at the family of fair Dev chanel's 40th world what do y'all think y'all agree with some of the commenters uh that were alluding to nene to just stay away from kenya with her um ideologies she wants to throw at her and hurl the insults coming like missiles coming from every which way but you know uh right at her okay she's coming in from to taking her missiles and hitting her from east west north south just seeing if they can land on Nene. In other words, they're basically saying, sticks and stones, Nene. Sticks and stones, you should just tell Kenya all the time. Okay? Sticks and stones. Do what you got to do. Say what you got to say. But know that it's not even affecting me one way or the other. Anyway, it's making you look stupid. Because I'm just sitting up here looking at all your answers. And then I'm going on and having a conversation with the people that are around me. Acting like I don't see, hear, or speak of you. Okay? You know how the three monkeys see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil? That's how I would be paying Kenya more. And that's basically what your followers or your fans of... You know, loving you on, loving on you, Nene, or basically telling you to stop, slow your roll, solidify yourself in knowing that you can take with anybody every day, all day long, because um, the show is checking for you, not the rest of the crew. Okay, that's you need to build that attitude back up, because it seems like you don't fail down below, and you don't know which way to go. Okay, so pull yourself up, Nene. Get back into your seat. Get into that driver's seat and roll. Roll on. Roll on. Roll on and on, no, no. Okay, and when you get ready to let the the seat of the Real Housewives of Atlanta car go and go on about its business, it's because you decided to and not somebody ran away that ran you away from the show in the hints of Kenya Moore. Okay. Give her a ride for her money, just like you gave her a ride for her money when she was brought onto the show, okay? She can't stand you just as much as you can't stand her. And that is the deal. That is the real tea. So press gas on each other and take it as far as you can, all right? Take it to the limit. Uh-uh. 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 Take it to the limit. Mm-mm. 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 Take it to the limit, because really, Kenya Moore really probably admire you that you got on the show and you lasted this long, and she wants that longevity for herself. So I would just take it as an honor that she would want to even be t a tenth of what you can give, okay? She's studying you, and she's playing you like a chessboard, okay? So what you got to do is switch the game up on her. Start playing Uno on her behind. <laughs> Play 
play Uno on her behind, Nene. Forget about that checkers and chess, miss. Play dominoes, okay? Shoot, play go fish on her and just see if she can catch up and then come back to the executive type of board games, which they call chess, okay? Play it up on her. She'll get confused. She wouldn't know which way that you had take, taken her, okay? And before you know it, you'll be at the finish line saying, I got it. I got it, you want it, but you won't get it. I got it, I got it, you want it, but you can't get it. That's what you could tell, can you? Honey, you can, she can get it when you got it and you gone, okay? Then she can get it. But like right now, Nina, you just, I don't know what you're doing right now, honey. I, I don't put you as a grandma on the scene. Took your player card as the HBIC, so I don't know. Maybe you'll give it to us later on in this season. I don't know. I, it's just however you want to play it, Nina. I'm down for you to a certain degree. But when you start acting foul, when you start wanting to spit on people, people when you want to get a hook to them and start slapping them around, nah, I can't get with you on that, Nina. Because the mouth is a powerful thing if you know how to use it. And when you need to be silent, that's even better <laughs> that's even better because they don't know what's going on in that mentality of yours that the next card you may play may be the winning hand all right but that's all i have for this video y'all yeah so i need my family to get down in them comments y'all tell me how y'all thought about this situation what y'all think about this situation if you have an opinion or not okay and definitely share like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and i really love you appreciate you okay remember that little button over there subscribe 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 that's what you should be doing and let us blow up and excel a little further okay good night guys